Internet Browsing History of Internet In the year 1960, the race for technology began when USSR launched its satellite named Sputnik and created a buzz everywhere. Countries like USA combined all the major universities and focused on information, experiments and sharing. By the end of the 19th century, the same structure for sharing information, communication and thus internet was born. This was now accessible all around the world for whoever owns a computer. The first network was the ARPANET, Advanced Research Project Agency Network, called the Grandad of All Networks. It was established in 1960s by US Department of Defense or DOD to connect universities that were carrying out defense-related research. Slowly and steadily, countries across the world started connecting with the ARPANET and soon it became a truly global network. In 1974, the first commercial network was introduced called Telnet. It enabled small networks located in far-off places to connect with each other. The size of the internet was increasing and the need was felt to have some rules and regulations for sharing information and resources over the internet so that this sharing was easy and smooth. Tim Berners-Lee laid down the rules and regulations that were finally adopted to create a global network of networks and he called it the World Wide Web or WWW. Popular Services The reason behind the widespread of internet was its usefulness in all spheres. With the internet, we can get information on different topics. Internet keeps us informed via e-learning such as newspaper, magazines, articles and day-to-day -day updates on various subjects. We instantly receive information from all over the world. Connectivity Internet helps us to connect with our families, friends, celebrities via Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and other social networking sites. Booking railways or air tickets. Tickets can be booked for air and railways without standing in the queue for hours. Watch movies, TV shows, live events. Internet gives us the opportunity to watch our favorite movies, songs, daily soaps, cricket or any other event online. We can pause it and watch it later without any hindrance. E-commerce Many websites like Flipkart, Snapdeal and Jabong provide us facilities to do shopping sitting in the comfort of our home. Consulting and planning We can consult with different people on a topic worldwide. Internet also gives us the opportunity to plan for a vacation to a known or unknown destination according to our budget. Business Work from our homes for companies that are located far away from us or selling and publishing our products online. Navigating We can navigate newer places or find routes to our favorite places. Apart from this, Internet provides us various other facilities and makes our life easier and convenient. Internet, the interconnected network system that helps in communication globally is referred to as Internet. When connected with Internet, you can share all kinds of information such as text, graphic, music, videos, etc. across the globe. It enables you to easily communicate with anyone. Search Engine Internet users can search for information on various topics via World Wide Web or WWW. By entering the keywords or key phrases into a search engine, you can receive a list of web content such as website, images, videos or other online data. 
The content returned to a user is known as a search engine results page or SERP. Some of the widely used search engines are Google, Yahoo, Bing, Ask.com, AOL.com, Baidu, DuckDuckGo, Wolfram Alpha, Internet Archive, Yandrix.ru. Google is the best search engine and dominates the rest in terms of convincing the users with better results. For example, if we are searching for flowers, we will type flowers in the search box and will press enter key. Here is the result of the search of flowers. Various sites having content about the word flower will be displayed. You can click on any of the links to know about the word flower and explore further. Email. Email stands for electronic mail. It is similar to a letter sent by snail mail and is sent via the internet to a recipient. An email requires an email address to receive email. This address is unique to the user. You can send attachments, graphics, videos, audio, etc. in an email. Some features of email are, it is fast and the recipient receives it as he or she goes online. It is not expensive and your safety is maintained. Attachments can be shared. It provides us the facility to send one email to more than one recipient at a time. Yahoo is one of the most popular email providers. Steps to open an email account on Yahoo are This is the home page of Yahoo. Click on Sign in to create a new account. The sign in window will open. Now click on Sign up link. To create a new account, fill up the sign up form and then press continue button. Enter your phone number and click on Text Me an Account Key. Yahoo will send the OTP or one-time password to your number to verify. Enter the OTP and then click on Verify button. After verification, Yahoo creates your account and displays a greeting message. Now your email account is created. The Yahoo Mail window will look like this. You can check your emails by clicking Inbox and to compose a new mail, use Compose button. To close your email account, click on your name displayed at the upper right corner of your Yahoo Mail window and click Sign Out. You can share your email ID with your friends and relatives. Happy emailing!